Hello, everyone. It is Dalton and Jesse again. Yes. Hello. Happy Friday. It's Friday. It is. Do we get the weekend off? No. We have to oh. work. Sadly. Anyways, we have a great auction closing this Saturday, though. We tomorrow. Um, if you couldn't Jump make in it. Jump June. I can't hardly see that. It's called Jump in June. Uh, it begins closing at 7 o'clock Saturday night. There are, I think, just shy of 800 lots in this auction. I believe so. And uh, we're going to take you on a walking preview for anyone who's not been able to come in to take a look around. If you want to come look, Dalton will be here. 10 12, to 12. 10 to 12. She keeps trying to tell me to 12 to 2. Dalton will be here 10 to 12 tomorrow if you want to come look at this stuff in person. How far can June How jump? How far can June jump? We're going to find out. Hello, Liz. It can jump 30 days. It can jump 797 lots. Um, so let's take a look real quick at what we have. So if you guys see things in this video that you have questions about, don't hesitate to ask us. Uh, you can comment it here on our video that we're making. This is a video we're making live right now and we will post it to our website and our page. So chances are if you're watching it and it's not Friday at around five o'clock, we're not live anymore. Um, you can still message us on Facebook give us a call one of us will try to answer for you um this stuff is not going to be in lot order because it was just too big to line up in lots and it looks better all arranged so um we have bigfoot and bigfoot jr he's 166 he is not lot eight jesse calls this her sasquatch pit in this part of the building is on this June auction. You've got everything. These are about the only kind of flowers I can keep alive. For those of you who are my friends on Facebook and see my kids' gardens, they do amazing. I do not, so this is how I plant flowers. Um, gobs of metal art between, between planters, flowers. You'll see signage. The fish are awesome. The rainbow fish in particular is really cool. Um, exit sign. So Liz Burford, I think she was trying to explain this to me and I didn't listen very well. These are for planting flowers. She said something about like they tip as they get too much water in them. Uh, she explained it on the catalog. They're lot 357. So she kind of explained what they, their function is better than I'm going to be able to. Um, I see kids' chairs, rockers, that really nice desk, the little girl's desk. Vanity flips up. There's a mirror under there. Um, I, there's an oil lamp. Dalton, have you ever seen one of those work? No. They're pretty cool. They're plugged in and they're working. Um, I see a weight bar back here. Some neat framed art. African or African. Native American art up there. Um, pretty blue bicycle. So there's a lot. There is about probably 60 lots, I think, of photography development equipment. Yep. It's all older, but it's all in great condition. Um, like we were saying, that's why we're encouraging you to ask us questions. We want to try to answer anything that you may want to know about it. Um, none of us, I am not a photography equipment expert, but I can try to answer your questions to the best of my ability if you ask me. Um, and then Dalton come out here, or a wagon full of this stuff. Yes. There's also this side over here. This stuff is all in that auction. There's a 12 gallon crop, a five gallon water, Crocs. There's another one somewhere. Storage totes, if you are in the organizing, cleaning out mode of your life. We've got some, a couple different lots of different size storage totes that are good and clean with lids. More of those awesome flowers. Check out that chicken. He'd look good sitting outside in that chicken coop. That's a rooster. A rooster, excuse me. I knew you were going to correct me. <laughs> <laughs> Check this one out. He's on a classic one. Um, Harley Davidson truck is really cool. Shelving, do not miss 
Do not be so distracted by looking at the cute stuff that you missed the shelving and the cabinetry. How awesome are these file cabinets? Four drawer lateral cabinets. Slide good, they're clean. Um, I think where these came from. I don't remember, but um, don't, like I said, don't get distracted and miss your opportunity to bid on those because those are some awesome organizational cabinets. Um, this guy's actually pretty tall. When I looked at the pictures, I didn't realize how tall it was. Jesse, how tall are you? 5'8", according to wow. our driver's license. So that is only a few inches off of you. Yep. Um, don't know there's a monkey riding a tricycle back here. There is. Uh, okay, so here, I think, is where this auction starts. Nope. Next nope. one. Are you sure? That one. Okay. Right here. Okay. Um, I've got marbles. I've got cast iron pans. That is Wagner. That one's probably also Wagner. Ooh. Yep. Wagner Ware. Skillet. There's another croc I was talking about. There's a, a lot of Ertl scale model toys in this auction. Um, looks like it starts probably with lot 14. And then there's some gas pumps, little model Mustang. We do try to keep your boxes safe. We don't, we use sticky notes so that we're not sticking stickers right on the boxes. So the boxes try to maintain those. Some pretty cool book bookends. Oliver Tractor. There's, you know, I didn't realize how many toys were in this auction, but there are quite a few spread throughout it. Our head cataloger is a, is a pretty good She's one. She's been busy. Um, more of those, more metal art, some good, nice, probably Vera Bradley purses. I think that's how that's cataloged. Check out this little butter churn. How cute would that be sitting on your shelf? Slot 167. This stuff is pretty close to in order, so if you see a something that has a tag on it, um, it's going to be pretty much in numerical order. Dairy case, glass bottles. Um, Mindy needs to know about this. We broke one for her, Dalton. Do you remember that? No, I wasn't there. We, <laughs> we need to make sure she knows that that's that's up for auction. Uh, very nice egg basket right there. Probably has some advertising on it that I can't see from this angle, but Dalton's showing it to you. From eggs. There's pink depression. And when I say pink depression, I'm not talking one or two pieces. These lots probably have 10 or 15 pieces of pink depression in them. Different styles, different serving dishes. All very nice. You've got footed bowls. You have the lace pattern on some of it. Candy dishes. And you are not buying a piece of it. You are buying the lot. That is how the bids are done on this stuff. I like this piece. Yeah, that's cool. You even have tools. How do they sneak? How do they sneak sockets into this? We sneak anything and everything into yeah. this auction. So turn around, Dalton, because you got to show this stuff off, too. Turn around. Nikon cameras. Casio cameras. Um, the paper. Oh my goodness, R2D2. R2D2's up there. The old. He is lot number 603. That's cool. Cast iron toys. That is. I can't read it. But it's got the wood wheels on it. Um, more handbags. Love, love, love the paper valentines. I've talked about that before. Really like those pieces. Um, keep giving out. Marbles, miniatures, lead soldiers. Pie birds. Do you know what a pie bird is, Dalton? Do you stick it in a pie? I do. So it can to release air out. the steam from the pie. Man, I'm smart. You are good. Rock'em, sock'em, robots. 
And this probably is a much better version. So I bought my kids Rock'em Sock'em Robots from Target for Christmas. And you can't even get a good swing in and their heads pop off. So I'd say this is an older version of it. It'd probably be a lot more fun for kids to play. Um, like I was saying, there is just a good mix of items in this auction. It's not really one specific theme. You have kids toys, you have games, you have books, paperweights that are really cool. Check that out. Can you see that? Very good in there. Mm -hmm. There's a whole bunch of paperweights. Puppet or a marionette, excuse me. Mm. Liz corrects me when I say that wrong. Look at the little pink little glass pin on nests. That one does not go with that, but I'm sure that the right one is in there. Do you hear that? Our next sale that we just put on has this great grandfather clock that still works. And oh. it tells the time and day. Okay. Very cool. Love these pieces. If you, it, you'd have to have the right decor, de decor theme in your kitchen. Yeah. But I love them. I think they're awesome. Love the red bucket. Beer signs, more models, baseball cards. And I don't know. I saw, I kind of flipped through and saw the pictures they took, and you cannot, I mean, if you are in a NASCAR, probably every card that you need is in this album, or this lot anyway. Lot and you, you don't cards. get one, you get all of them. There are five binders of them. <clears throat> this is also super cute. I think we've sold one of these before, or a couple of these. Love it. It's the porcelain bread box. So what are you guys seeing? Does anybody have any questions, Dalton? They do not. No, not yet. Okay. This auction closes the 6th of June. Which the is, is here at our building. On Monday, Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday. We do ask that you schedule an appointment. No, we're not going to turn you away if you come during the times that we're here and don't have an appointment. We're not going to send you away. But it helps us prepare beforehand if you let us know when you're coming. And the sign-up process is relatively easy, assuming we send out the right link. <laughs> it's just a matter of clicking and telling us what time you're coming. Some nice photography gear here, Jesse. Check out this umbrella stand, Dalton. I love it. It's an upside-down umbrella. Stuff umbrellas in it. Costume jewelry. DVDs. So, is there anything else you got to say? I don't think so. I think we've showed everybody what's in this auction. Um, Dalton is here tomorrow, 10 to noon. Yes. I got it. Um, you're welcome to come in, take a look around. You don't have to have an appointment, but he'll be here with the door, front door unlocked. Auction, you can do that at that time as well. Um, that's all I know. Shoot us a message on Facebook if you have questions. Give us a call at 217-235-5795, and we'll do our best to answer them.